Hi everyone, Shana Tova. Welcome back to Torah On Demand. I'm Rabbi Yael Rydberg. As the ark doors of sanctuaries all over the world will open this week to begin reading from the beginning, Parashat Bereshit in the book of Genesis, a story came to mind of the time Rabbi Lawrence Kushner asked a group of preschoolers what they thought was inside the ark doors. There were those kids who said, nothing, it's empty. But there was one who was a little more creative. She said she thought there was a mirror inside the ark. I love this story because for Jews who feel distant from the stories of the Jewish people, the first child was right. The ark is empty. The Torah holds no interest. And it's too hard to reconcile those stories from what we believe to be true about the world today. For others, studying the Torah and reading from the beginning holds no superficial appeal. They assume that they already know the stories and have nothing new to learn from them. For some, the Torah or the Bible as a whole is just some antiquated text with some arcane language and patriarchal and sexist stories with nothing truly important for the modern intellectual mind to find relevant in the world today. But for those who are a little more creative, for those who are prepared to open their hearts and minds, the Torah can indeed be a mirror, reflecting truths about our values, our accomplishments, our limitations, and the nature of who we are as human beings. So beginning this week, the book of Genesis presents us with questions that will spill across the generations. What's the relationship between humanity and God, between human beings, men, women, what are we? Where are we? Where are our brothers and sisters? Are we responsible for one another? Why do we have to work so hard and sometimes with such frustration? Why do we suffer and why must we die? Parashat Bereshit invites us to ask why we need these stories. They certainly don't all have happy endings and often leave us with more questions than answers. Humans struggle with temptation, we experience jealousy and rage, sibling rivalry and family violence. But these are powerful tales about the divine human relationship and encounter, highlighting moral freedom and responsibility. How should we live in relationship to one another and with God? Well, in the text, we learn the difference between tov, good, and ra, bad. The story that Adam and Eve eat from the forbidden tree of knowledge elicits the understanding of these two qualities. Or it could also mean that knowledge itself enables us to make judgments about what is good and what is bad for ourselves and for all living things. So as we peer into the mirror that is the Torah this week, may we strive after the Tov Me'od, the very good. Shabbat Shalom. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.